Having your own personal blog is so cool, no? You can share about the projects you're working on right now, or you can just share about the thoughts you have, or you can of also use your blog as a social portfolio to showcase on your resume or anywhere. But how can you have your own blog without the fuss of deploying it to the server or spending time on the hosting and so on? So, well, in this video, I'm going to show you one way in which you can have your own personal blog and you can get started in less than 10 minutes. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. Now, when it com comes to static site generators, we have a lot of options like Hugo, Jekyll, and Hexo, and so on. But for this video, I'm gonna use Hugo because it's very quick and very easy to get started with. The next prerequisite for having our own personal blog is having a GitHub account and having two repositories. Now, here on the screen, if you can see, there are two blo uh, two repositories. One of them is a private repository. Now, you can have any name for this. I have given it as a name of, of blog. Another repository has to have a name and a given structure. So the first part of the name should be your username and then .github.io. So that should be the name of your second repo. Make these two repositories and then follow along in the next section. All right, so I've cloned both the repositories on my machine and now I'm gonna jump into the quick start guide provided by Hugo. So the first step is to install Hugo, which I've already done. Now for all the other OSs other than Mac OS, here's the link. And we have create a new site, which the command is Hugo new site and the name of the folder. We already have blog folder, so I'm gonna do Hugo new site blog. And as soon as I do it, I get the error that the folder already exists. So I'll append force to it so that it still does it. And I'm gonna open this in VS code. So let's see, um, oops, I should open my blog folder in VS code. I'm gonna close this. All right, so we have our basic blog setup, uh, structure setup. We have arc types, we have content, we have data, we have layout, static, themes, etc. Now, the next section is adding a theme and adding our own content. So let's go to the next section. All right, so the next step for our blog is to have add a theme and uh, then customize it. So you can go to this website, themes.goyugo.io and choose any of the theme that you like. I I'm planning to go with a very basic, simple looking, very minimal theme, which is called tail. So to install that, I'll just go, I'll copy this command and I'll paste this inside my blog directory. So I'm gonna do paste this. Right, so it's done. So inside my, if I do ls themes, I'll see that tail is installed now. So now what, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go into the documentation and see what they tell. So the themes documentation, it tells us uh, you can add this line to config.toml. So this file, config.toml that we have in our uh, blog is the main configuration file required for by Hugo. So you, anything that you customize here is reflected directly in the website. So what we can do is there are a lot of things that they have given. So let's just do basic. Let's copy this and paste this, which I've already done here. And I'm going to give the theme as tail, right? And now inside this content directory, I've created a folder called posts and inside that I've created a new markdown post. I've just copied this content from internet. So this is how markdown looks like. You don't write HTML, you just write text with these uh, hashes and these backticks which appear as code blocks and so on. So let's just now quickly do Hugo server hyphen D. And this launches a server in development mode where as you as soon as you change some code, it appears on the blog. So let's now go into go on localhost 13, 13 and see. So our basic blog is up now. If I click on creating a new theme, you can see all the code that was written. Now I'll just change this, remove all of this and just say, oops, that was really big. <laughs> let's just do a, delete all right so this is my new blog so if you see it's it quickly just changed it to clear uh, this is my new blog and then i can say this is my new blog using Hugo. and immediately the contents are refreshed so if i go back see this is my oh, i need to refresh this page as well yeah so as soon as someone will open this blog they'll see this page now 
this is fine this is running locally in the next section let's see how we can make this available for everyone so as i said we are going to use github for hosting our uh, static blog right so what we're going to do is we're going to come back to shubhamyt.github.io or your own username.github.io repository and let's just quickly open this url in the browser and let's see what it has shubhamyt.github.io it has a very simple by default github setup my username.github.io and the readme content okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to have this localhost content on our blog hosted by github so how we're going to do that is in this section so in the blog folder what we're going to do is we're going to run hugo hyphen t the name of my theme which is tail as soon as i run this it will create a folder named public if i go into this folder public you'll see that it has created an index.html file right it has automatically created it i did not have it in my blog right so now what you are going to do is let's just quickly take a look at this live server let's just quickly take a look at this in a browser how it looks so in a browser if i click on this it takes me to shubhamvaiti.github.io because in our config.toml we have specified our base url as this right so now what you are going to do is uh close it over here let's come back yep and then let's just copy all of this content from public so we're going to do is cp hyphen a public star and then move, copy it into uh shubham yd.github.io all right let's open that as well inside or let's just do ls shubham yd.github.io right so this folder has copied everything now now if we go into shubham yt dot github dot io and I'll just I'll quickly do it ls so it has now let's just quickly take a uh, test it using live server and just run it and check it locally yeah everything is coming fine this is still not working because we have to push it so now let's come back and push all these changes so we'll have some changes so we'll do git add git commit adding my first commit right and then push this. all right let's just give it a second and now if we come back to our repository page and refresh this we'll see that uh, it's still building let it just finish okay it's finished so now let's go to shubham why did get up data and refresh yep here we go we have our blog on shubham why did get up data io anyone can see our blog now this can open anywhere if i run it some other browser let me just quickly open this in safari shubham yt.github.io and here it is our blog in all its glory uh so this is it now if you guys are enjoying watching this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel it's highly motivating and also i noticed recently that 70% of you who are watching my videos are not subscribed It's not going to cost you anything if you guys just click on that subscribe button because it's highly motivating for me because I get to know that a lot of people are you know actually enjoying the content that I'm presenting here. So please make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're watching this. So in this video we had a basic introduction to static site generators and GitHub pages and how we can combine both of them to have a personal blog hosted without any extra cost and without any burden on mind of deploying and hosting. If you guys enjoyed watching this video give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions in your mind feel free to post them down in the comment section and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Until then take care. Bye bye.